when I see a student transformed in the way that I was, it's tremendously satisfying. I so enjoyed that company that I was with whenever I got involved in any alumni activities that that's why I kept coming back for more. If every person who went to school could fire up two students, you know, think about how exciting a world that this would be. You set an example for graduates who join the Columbia alumni community today. The main gift Barnard gave me was it made me a New Yorker. Elaine Schlossman Chapnick, Barnard College, class of 61. Barnard's classes included New York as their laboratories. A geology course required us to examine the, the composition of sidewalks, look for outcroppings of Fordham Nice and Manhattan Schist. Having as a freshman English teacher and economics professor was a, a brilliant idea on the part of the administration that opened me up to thinking about a lot of things in a new way. It was also a much more restricted place and in the uh, Brooks Hall, if you entertained a male companion, you had to have one foot on the floor, they said. <laughs> My daughter Melissa, she had a terrific experience at Barnard. We did have a pact that if I were anywhere north of 82nd Street, I would give her a call and uh, with advance warning that I would be in the vicinity. One of my most exciting and enjoyable alumni activities was serving on the Board of Trustees. And they asked me to be head of the Student Life Committee, which was one of my great joys. There were demands from the students to have safe spaces. And we created clubs and groups where every group could have safe spaces. And guess what? They weren't talking to each other. And so we decided as a group that we had to provide some kind of all-campus activities that would bring them all together. The fully loaded cost of college had so changed over the years, we felt we wanted to enable young women to come to Barnard and remain here without having to drop out for financial reasons. One doesn't fully appreciate the meaning of all those activities until you look out at this sea of 10,000 graduates and realize what each life is going to be after his or her own graduation from here. It was really a very meaningful moment, I have to say. Jeff Bluestein, class of 62, School of Engineering and Applied Science, class of 65, Graduate School, Arts and Sciences. The first class uh, was in a very large lecture hall, similar to this one, in a class called Advanced Ordinary Differential Equations that sounded pretty special. Professor Salvadori starts out, if you were in this class and you're over you know, 12, 13, maybe 14 at the, at the most, there is no hope for you as mathematicians. However, if you study hard, pay attention, work hard, you still might make acceptable engineers. On my first day at Columbia, I learned humility. Please welcome the alumni medalists. Academic excellence and, and a focus on interdisciplinary you know, mindset, diligence, you know, and do, doing things right, and about integrity. And I just feel that I would not have been the same person you know, without that. The money is not enough. You, you, you got to give something of yourself. That's always the way I try to run my life is put yourself into it. You know, you don't have to prepare a lot, you know, to write a check, okay? You have to prepare a lot to give a lecture. I uh, did a class day address. I've been told it was memorable. People are saying, boy, I still remember that class day and that guy who rode in on a motorcycle with his graduation robes and hat on. Early on, I came back uh, and gave a lecture to a group of engineers. And I explained to them how we take the vibrations out of motorcycles, okay? And it was one of the very simple models that they learn in their first year vibrations class here. But here's how you actually bring it to bear in a real life situation. Come on! <laughs> and here are these students going out there with these new skills and hopefully with, you know, the same thirst to do something with, you know, the tools that they have. It was very uplifting. I feel passionate about all things Columbia. Paul Madden, College 81. 
Class of 88, physicians and surgeons, also class of 88, Graduate School of Arts and Sciences. The classwork at Columbia College uh, was extraordinary. The mix of science and humanities, they really helped me become a scientist and begin to think like a scientist. My assignment uh, in music humanities was to, uh, to attend the Metropolitan Opera. I'd never been to an opera. Almost 450 operas later that I sit here today. Richard Axel, my mentor for my PhD, played a pivotal role in uh, keeping me at Columbia. My project was to understand how the HIV virus entered the cells that it infected, specifically T cells. I saw the power of biotechnology and its ability to create new medicine and found my calling. I feel that alumni affairs begins with students. We have over 300,000 alumni across the globe. They work in the real world and they can act as mentors to young people. Columbia has the oldest high school science program in the country and I sponsor and uh, I founded a program up at the medical center for Columbia undergraduates who wish to do biomedical research. A fun way of bringing people together is to attend uh, football games, basketball games, and so forth. So I uh, bring students from the medical center campus to athletic events. I've gotten involved in the Columbia Alumni Association in recent years. I've become a director of CAA. This perspective of the university as a whole, you have uniquely as a trustee, you feel tremendous responsibility when you're gathered in this room. They're chosen by their peers for their efforts on behalf of Columbia. As they say, I bleed Columbia blue. To be honored by my peers, it means a tremendous amount to me.